occasion is to manage the history of a client in terms of mails and documents. Whenever a new client is acquired by any company, its record is created in the ERP which is here referred as the client card. Once this client card is created, a unique ID is assigned to it by the ERP. This ID is basically used to create an automatic folder in the DMS. DMS then automatically creates multiple subfolders in this folder. For example, if we go inside the first ID, multiple subfolders are created automatically available in the Outlook as a separate panel. This is a separate panel created automatically. Now how, how does this work? Like if we see this is a new mail, once he says yes, he'll get a panel he can select the folder wherein he wants to send the mail. So now if I go back to DMS, the same mail will be available. Correspondence is a subfolder wherein automatically the mails are sent. The new mail is tagged as new. The same function can be automatically done by the application but the prerequisite to that will be in the subject of the email, the ID of the folder should be mentioned. There are other subfolders automatically created once a client card is created in the ERP. These folders can be used to upload the documents or to maintain documents as a repository. Let me upload one document and the same will be real time available. The user can also search for documents in the document management system. Here he can also write the ID of the client card, some of the characters of the file name. So let me write the top ID of the client card. And once I do this, I get the result from whole of the site, wherein if we see the document ID is available with all the documents and the filters being used to filter the result. So therefore this application is useful for having a central repository of the client or project conversations by avoiding the use or the quick reference of multiple places like mailing systems and drives on the system.